Right, so we're going to talk about the rapamil resistance and how it develops in skeletal muscles. Uh, the essential concept of this entire topic is uh, why skeletal muscles are resistant to uh, rapamil, which is a class 4 antiarrhythmic, while smooth muscle and cardiac muscles are not resistant to rapamil. So the essential difference between these two is, uh, is basically, I'll come to the next slide, is that cardiac muscles and smooth muscles versus skeletal muscles. These two muscles have an essential difference in the channels that are affected by uh, Brapa mill or calcium channel for block. Uh, sorry, uh, calcium channel blocker, a class four antiarrhythmic that results in this difference. Basically, what the action of Brapa mill is that it blocks L type calcium channels. What that means is once now we need to understand the physiology behind this. <clears throat> See normally to, to depolarize normally to depolarize a cell, what we need to do is we need a calcium influx which increases the the charge inside the cell to more positive and it drives the cell towards depolarization. So what this influx of calcium into the cell leads to is something called a calcium-induced calcium release. What that is, is that your sarcoplasmic reticulum normally contains a lot of calcium inside it. So when in the calcium comes into your cell, this calcium goes and binds to a receptor called RYR receptor. And once it binds to that, the sarcoplasmic reticulum releases calcium into the intracellular space. And what that does is it causes uh, the contraction of the muscles, whichever muscles it's uh, present in, for example, smooth muscle or cardiac muscle, right? So this is the normal physiology of how calcium causes calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum and how uh, how it causes contraction of the muscles. Now the problem is, this is the case for smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. While in the skeletal muscle, what we have is this is the cell membrane. And here is your sarcoplasmic reticulum, and here are your RY, rhinodine, they're called rhinodine receptors, but for short for RAR, uh, RYR. So what happens here is there is a receptor well, that we'll, we'll, call, we'll call this receptor uh, calcium channel L-type, because this is the one which is blocked by calcium uh, rapamil. So in skeletal muscles, the difference is that this L-type calcium channel and this RYR calcium uh, calcium channel are directly attached to each other, sort of like hooks. This hook and this hook, they're attached to each other. There is no space in between them, which is, uh, it's not like they're separate from each other. So whereas in a cardio or smooth muscle, we had this L-type channel and in the smooth, uh, in the sarcoplasm reticulum, we had the RYR receptor there was an empty space in between them. They were not directly attached, but this is not the case in the skeletal muscle. In the Elta, in the, let's talk about the cardiac smooth muscle first. Uh, in the cardiac smooth muscles, this, when the calcium used to, we'll, I'll change the color for this. When the calcium, when the calcium molecules entered through the L-type channel, it went to the RYR receptor on its own in the cytoplasm, and then it bind it binded to the RYR receptor, and that is what triggered the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. But the problem, not as a, not necessarily a problem, but the difference in the skeletal muscles is that the calcium does not need to, the calcium does not need to attach directly to the RYR receptor. It can just bind to the calcium L-type channel, and this this mechanical joint that is formed in between them is the one which can result in release of calcium. So as you can see, the calcium, this calcium, did not really go and touch the RYR at all. It stayed in its place, and but because of this mechanical joint, this calcium was released. So now, once we know this, once we understand this, we can talk about how rapamil affects all of this and where it fits into all of this. Now, rapamil is a calcium channel blocker which blocks L-type. Uh, of calcium channels. So which L-type are we talking about? We're talking about this L-type shown in this picture. So L-type, for example, let's say that for the pummel blocks this. Now in a cardiac or smooth muscle, as you will see that 
how do you get smooth muscle will not the calcium will not be able to enter it will not be able to attach to the RYR receptor and you won't have the uh, you will have the effect of the calcium channel blockade of blood pump which we need to for example slow down a heart rate on the other hand if a blood pump binds to the L type channel of a skeletal muscle even though calcium is even though calcium is unable to enter anymore into the cell it still binds to this calcium channel and just because of this joint right here the r by r will still release calcium into the cell and the cell will still depolarize and the cell will still contract now this is why you have resistance in skeletal muscles to Vlapamil. It's because of this mechanical joint, because of this mechanical connection which is present between the L-type uh, receptor, L-type channel, and the RYR channel. I hope that summarizes the concept of uh, Vlapamil resistance in skeletal muscles.